So we're back in this corner of my room because you guys, I am really struggling on a, a, like a, a filming setup in this house and it's really frustrating. But if I let that frustrate me to the point of never filming, I'd never film. So I just set up a little corner, hate that side. However, it is um, a gloomy day. We had a rainy evening, or not even evening, it just rained overnight. Had thunder and lightning too, which was exciting. I live in Los Angeles, so we don't get that often. But so it is cold and rainy and gloomy today. It's a little bit gray, so I thought all the windows were necessary for today's filming. So we're in the bedroom. That was a long-winded answer. Really wish that wasn't there. I am very excited because today, is a beauty haul. I love doing beauty hauls. You may be saying, Amy, didn't you just do a huge makeup declutter? Which I did, I can link it up there. Yes, so it's the perfect time to buy more makeup. <laughs> However, I will say, and we'll talk about it when we get into it, but I used huge restraint. I'll just spoil it. A lot of the new things I got are physicians, mm -hmm, physicians formula, which is like my very favorite brand of makeup right now. And they just come out, they keep coming out with so many cute new things. And there's a lot of stuff I held back from even though I really, really wanted it. But because, um, we'll, we'll talk about that. But I really do feel like I used restraint and only bought things that I like really, really needed. And not need, of course, but really, really wanted. So yeah, we'll get into that. I have some stuff from Ulta and Sephora and one Mac purchase, which is very exciting. So stay tuned. But before we get into that, today's video is kindly sponsored by Karma. You guys know that I love Karma. It's formerly known as Shop Tagger. They had a name change last year. I've been working with them for years and I always get messages saying, what is that website or app that you use that alerts you when things are on sale? And it is Karma. So if you don't know, Karma is a website and an app that you can use to basically make wish lists. Well, actually, basically it helps you save money in a whole bunch of ways, but the way I use it is I make lists. I use it to make my Christmas wish list, which I did a video on. I will link that up in the corner if you're curious. <laughs> but I always make it to, I always use it to make lists and I save items and then Karma will alert you when that item goes on sale. So especially with having a new house, well, we've been here for a year now, but it still feels new. Um, but there's pricier things that I like. We do plan on being here a long time, so we kind of want to invest in certain things, but some things are just too expensive. So I will save things to my Karma wish list, and then Karma will let me know when they go on sale. And same with beauty items, whether it be a new beauty item that I want to try, but it's just a little bit too pricey, or I don't need it at the moment, I, you know, I justify it more when it's on sale. Or I have a list of my staple favorite items that things are a little more expensive. Things like the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm that I love, or any of my favorite higher-end foundations or concealers, I'll add to that and if it goes on sale, it alerts me and I can stock up some of my more expensive favorite hair products, things like that. So I pretty much have a home decor wish list, beauty wish list, and then like a beauty staples. My personal favorite feature is that Karma will alert you when things are back in stock. I have gotten many an item thanks to Karma. Hi. Did you have such a good long nap? Yeah, come here. You have like a 70s vibe. Oh my goodness. Can I have a kiss? No. Kiss him with your chemicals. It's just aquaphor. <laughs> On your lips? Yeah. Oh, they're so shiny. Love you. Off we go. <laughs> Sorry. What was I saying? Oh, that I've gotten many, many a thing thanks to Karma alerting me when it's back in stock because I just never have luck with the actual website alerting me. They also have a coupon feature where you can click it and it will scan the interwebs to find you the best coupon and apply it, which is awesome. And they also have a cash back feature when you shop through certain stores. So it's just all around helping you save money. And the best part is that it's completely free to use. I have been using it for years. There's no catches. It really is just a really helpful tool to help you save money and it's also super fun to make lists and stay organized and all you have to do to put karma on your computer is download the chrome application and install it then when you're browsing your favorite websites you're on an item you want to save you just go up to the little icon in the corner click it you pick what list you want to put it on you pick what you want it to alert you for and you save it and it's that easy and then of course if you want to use the app you just download the app on your phone but if you would also like to try karma i will have the link to download it in the description box the first thing you see you can click it again i've been working with them for years i've been using it for years i use it all the time i love it it's completely free very helpful and yeah so check that out like i said it'll be down there if you want to click on it and thank you again to karma for sponsoring this portion of the video and for supporting my channel and my family and yeah. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get into what I purchased. Now I will say mostly I do online shopping, but mama's been out of the house recently. And I will say it's been kind of a bit of like a, let's start with Ulta. Let's start with the physician's formula because I feel like that's why you're here. We're all excited. Basically, I normally order online, but I was having a hard time finding them online. So I just hit the pavement and found them in store. But normally that's when karma would have come in handy. I would have saved this and it would have alerted me. So the thing I'm probably most excited about, actually that's not true, I'm excited about all these but is the Physician's Formula Strawberry Jam Blush. Now, the urge to open these all up and smell them was wild, but I didn't. I held out so I could do it in this video. So today is very exciting. Can you tell I don't get out much anymore? Oh, that's not true. This would have excited me even before mom life. I just get excited, you know? It doesn't take much to, to please me. I don't want to swatch it because it's so cute. So it's basically just this Strawberry Jam Blush. I'm nervous and excited to smell it. It is so cute. Mm. That smells like childhood. It smells fun. Okay, it is so beautiful that I want you to, before if I ruin it before like the proper swatch, the B-roll, just look how beautiful that is. I love it. Oh. oh, and as always, comes with a mirror and a little brush underneath. Super cute. Oh man, you guys, I am just so excited about that. The little strawberries are like glittery. Okay, we're gonna swatch it, okay? Oh, you guys, the strawberries immediately came off after I swatched it. That's so sad. I really wish I got a picture before I did that. Oh well, but they're just like an overlay on the top. But that is a beautiful color. That screams Amy. So I'm very excited to try that. Little heartbroken that I didn't get a cute picture of this before I swatched it, but. <sighs> That's the influencer life, you know? <laughs> and once you swatch it, you do, you still can smell it. Oh man, I'm, I am so excited to try that. It's not even funny. I need a, a makeup wipe. Okay, and so then, they came out with so much at once. So, okay, let's get back to this. That's part of a collection that also has a highlight and a, there's two different bronzers. They're called the butter, the bread and butter bond, bro. Mm. The bread and butter bronzer, that's what I'm trying to say. Everybody is talking about the um, champagne highlighter. My queen Jessica Braun, she bought it, but um, she, uh, well, it was in some sort of video she was gonna try it. I'm also really behind on her videos. I'm behind on everything in life, but I do know that she bought it and it came shattered, so she didn't try it, so I haven't gotten her opinion on it. And she's kind of really the only makeup person that I watch anymore besides Tati, but I'm really behind on her videos. Anyway, I, I keep hearing people talk about it, but I don't know their opinions on it. Um, and I just have so many highlighters right now and it kind of looked like it might be a little darker than I enjoy as a highlight So I held off even though I really wanted to buy it and then also the two the bread and butter bronzers There were um, I think more of like a shimmery one and then a matte one I just held off just because I have so much of the butter collection the bronzers and I love them all but I was just kind of waiting to hear from either you guys or other YouTubers or TikTok or whatever if people are loving it, but I just have enough. It, and it was hard, but it just, you know, it was in the back of my mind, Amy, you just decluttered all this stuff. You have so many. Um, so I just held off on that. And speaking of that, um, they came out with a couple of new things in the Butter Believe It line, which I also love. The two things I wanted were this blush, which of course I bought, I always buy the blush, but there was also like a translucent setting powder, which I really wanted to try, but I held off because I am loving so many of the new Butter Buddies, which a lot of them are like setting face powders. I have two of them on today. I have the illuminating one under my eye, and just, I think it's the um, butterscotch matte one to set the places I don't want to be shiny. And I'm loving those. So I just didn't feel the need to buy the other one, even though it's beautiful and I want to try it. The point is I skipped on that powder for now. Unless you guys are like, Amy, it's amazing, you need it. Then I'll go get it. You know, I'm not opposed. I'm just holding off. But what I absolutely needed was the new Butter Believe It blush. This is in the shade Pink Sands. It's that Muru, hard to say, Muru Muru. Mm, butter blush, which actually all of the butter products have it. So the Manoi ones, the original butter, and then the Butter Believe It stuff, which all of this packaging is so cute. So this one has like the tropical things on the side. Um, and this is just so pretty and I thought would just be the most beautiful blush. Has again, that really like light butter scent. Not quite as coconutty as the original, but it does have just like a buttery scent. Ooh, very pretty. So this is, ooh, that's gonna be really nice for spring. I don't know if you can see that. This is much more of like a understated nudie pink color. I think a lot of people would like that. It is a bit on the lighter side, 
Um, but again, I'll have a better idea once I try all these on my face. A swatch can only tell you so much. Um, but it is beautiful and I just love the Physicians Formula powder formula. The bronzers, the face powders, the blushes. For the most part, they go on really smooth. They blend out amazingly well. I love all the colors usually. And the best part for me is that they last on my face all day long. If I'm going to Disneyland or just a wedding or whatever and I want my makeup to last, I always reach for my Physicians Formula product because especially my butter blushes, they just last all day and I love them. So yeah, excited to have more colors and more things in my arsenal. This is the last blush that I got, <laughs> as if I need more blush. But this is the Matte Manoi Butter Blush. This is beautiful. I really wish I did the swatches before. So the Matte Manoi collection smells more like, I think it's called a Pikaki flower, which is one of my favorite scents in the entire world. It smells like Hawaii. So in case this gets ruined too, it's just these beautiful flowers, which it's kind of cool because it seems like you could stick to the top and get one color, stick to the bottom, get a lighter color. You could use like an eyeshadow brush individually in these um, flowers and get like a really customized color. It just is so beautiful. This was the one I'm, before I, uh, the strawberry one is just cute, but it kind of lost its luster now that the strawberries are gone. <laughs> this one I was most excited to try, mainly because I love that Matte Benoit blush, that or, um, bronzer. That's one of my very favorite finds of the last year. I'm wearing it today. I love it. I wear it every single day. Um, I'm so afraid to swatch this because it's so beautiful. So all of its swirled is a really nice color. It's right here. So here's all three. The lighter one, the kind of very summery pink one, and this is kind of more of like a medium nude. Like this would be a good fall color. I love a good mauve blush. I think this is called something about mauve. Mauvey mattes. And of course I, you know, ruined it before the beautiful swatch, but whatever. It smells incredible and I am so excited to try it on my face. And then the last Physicians Formula thing, which I wasn't planning on getting, but then I saw it. And now I want the other one because I saw Jessica Braun haul it and I didn't get that one. Um, but this is the Matte Manoi Butter Eyeshadow. I love the butter eyeshadow palettes that they already have. I use, um, I think it's the Tropical Days one. I use it all the time. I love it. And so this is the Matte Manoi Butter situation. I like that, like, I mean, they still obviously make their bulky packaging, but now a lot of things are kind of slimmer, which is really nice. But this, it doesn't have a shade. It just says Matte Manoi Butter Eyeshadow. But I like how small it is. I am, I tend to grab things more like this now when I'm doing eyeshadow, um, but I, they just seem like everyday colors that I would use. Ooh, ooh. I'm putting these in places you are not gonna be able to see. They're also just like really nude, like matte crease colors. And I even liked that they had like a little darker shade I could use as like eyeliner if I wanted to. So I just, I wanted to try it really. And I'm so excited. And this was like $16, but they gave it to me for $10. So I don't know if they're having a sale, but I accept. One last random thing. Oh, there's hair everywhere. You guys, my hair is falling out. And I didn't know it was falling out because my hair like always falls out, but it has increased so much. And I, I wasn't aware of it until like I put my hair up and I can see the baby hair is already growing back in. And I was like, oh, I've been losing my hair for a while and I didn't realize it. But the amount of hair that comes out of my head is wild. Luckily I have plenty to spare. But my God, having a baby is really no joke. <laughs> like it really takes a toll on your whole life. And then even after you have it, I mean, obviously like your life changes, but like you're a different human. Your entire body is different. My per I'm on my period right now. It came back. I feel like it came back a little bit worse, which is rude. Like, I don't know if things level out eventually, but like it is a little more painful than it used to be. It's, and like, I never had that bad of periods and it's still not that bad. Just damn. You know, having a baby is not for the faint of heart and not even involving the baby, just the changes it makes to you. Okay, but anywho, sorry. The last thing I got at Ulta, and I've missed this, is just, like I said, hair everywhere. Um, the Morphe Flawless Beauty Sponge. I needed a new one of these for a very long time. Uh, my mom actually got me this cute, she got it more for the holder that it came with, but she got me a beauty blender. It's like this little ice cream cone thing that you can set the beauty blender in to dry when you're done using it. It'll fit any sponge, but it did come with a beauty blender. I haven't used a beauty, how many times can I say beauty blender? I haven't used one of those in years. And I so prefer the Morphe sponge to it now. Like this one feels sturdier and maybe it's just cause I'm more used to it. I love the shape of this one. Let me get it out. 
And the Morphe sponges come in all different sizes and shapes, but I like this one because I can just fit my fingers in there really nicely. Of course, you get it wet and damp and all that. But the best part is that the Morphe ones are $8 compared to the $20 beauty blenders. So in my opinion, they're better and it's much nicer that it's much cheaper. Um, but I am so happy to have this again because I've been, I have been loving my, I mentioned it in a favorites video. I don't know which one. I'll link it up in the corner. Which speaking of, I skipped my February favorites just because I really, I had like two things and I'm like, that's not worth a video. But I will... Yes, I already have more favorites, so I will have a March favorites video at the end of this month. Get sidetracked. Oh, I am loving still my, oh, a cute dog is walking. I just got distracted by a cute dog and then the camera turned itself off. I am still loving my Rare Beauty foundation brush. I can link that down below. I am loving it, but I do just like to have both. I always have a damp sponge when I'm doing my makeup just cause it just helps, you know? What's happening up there? Um, so, <laughs> What's the point? Just that I've been missing this. I've been needing a new one. I haven't purchased one, but I, I did and I am excited. So, okay. This is in my Ulta bag, but this is from the Mac store. So, so this is very exciting. In my makeup declutter video, I mentioned that Mac discontinued my very favorite eyeshadow of all time, All That Glitters, which I feel like was a really, Im like, I was gonna say important. That's not what I meant to say. That's another thing. The mixture of postpartum and post COVID brain fog, like I can't think of words ever, never. Like I, I sit there, I know what I wanna say, but I can't get it out of my mouth. And it is a wild experience. Like I've never experienced that. It was a popular, <laughs> there we go. It was a very popular eyeshadow. Even like Elle Fowler, wasn't her like channel named All That Glitters? Like it was a big deal. And it is clearly their best eyeshadow and they discontinued it. And I was running, I still have my original pan that just has like a little bit around that I'm just like savoring. And I mentioned that in that video and I was like, they discontinued it. And one of you guys commented like, no, they brought it back. And one of my best friends actually manages the Mac store and I texted him and I was like, excuse me, is this back? And he's like, well, it was brought back for a limited time. I have one left, I'm gonna put it on hold for you. I have it and I'm so excited. I do think it is still online though. And he said they also do have it in like the, um, they're like individual shadows you can buy and pop into their palettes. He said they had some of those still. So if I can find it, I will link it. But this is the best eyeshadow and I am so excited to have it back. If they had more, I would have bought more, but it's just the most perfect like rose gold bronzy color. It's my fave. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh my God. I'm going to look incredible now every day because I have this again. So that wraps up Ulta, but I did run into Sephora. My mom gave me a gift card for Christmas and I kind of knew what I wanted to do with it. I was gonna buy one of the things that I have in this bag and then I was gonna use the rest of the money to buy some of the Foreo, Foreo, however you say it, UFO sheet mask things. If you know, you know. Uh, but they didn't have those. So I, I shopped for something else and I am excited about what I ended up purchasing. So the thing I knew I definitely wanted was this mini size of the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is something that I've been wanting for literal years. Everybody talks about this. I don't have a ton from Charlotte Tilbury, but the stuff I do have, I really, really like. So I wanna try more. I just think that she makes good quality products that I always try to explain this, that they're not too heavy. I feel like a lot of bronzers and highlighters leave you looking muddy and like you have streaks all over your face and her highlighters and like her blush that's like shimmery that I have, they just like, they just seem like the everyday girl makeup, if that makes sense. Like you look really nice when you wear them, but you don't look too heavy. This packaging is beautiful. And again, this is the mini size. I think this was $29 instead of like the 50 something, but you get a highlight and a bronzer. And even though that's a mini size, I think that is still like a really good size for both pans. Let's go in with the sculpt shade. And this is in the lighter, it comes in two different shades. This is the lighter one. So this is, it's light medium, which I don't even know if you will see that bronzer. That's the bronzer. And then I've been, I'm wearing it today, my Charlotte Tilbury brick or bar of gold highlight that I got years ago that they discontinued. I love it. So I'm like, I need to order more Charlotte Tilbury highlighters because they're beautiful. And again, like these swatches aren't gonna do much because they're just so like, I don't know, they just blend really nicely. And I can just tell it's going to apply to my face nicely with a brush. So I am very excited to try. I'm so excited to do my makeup. I don't know when the next time I'm gonna be wearing makeup is, but I'm excited about it. <laughs> then once I saw they had a mini version of this too, I was like, I'm getting that. So again, for Charlotte Tilbury, the Hollywood 
Flawless Filter. I was gonna get the full size, but they were out of it in my shade, so I did not. But then I saw this and I was like, oh, hell yes. So I see this all, well, I've seen this all over YouTube for years. People love it. I follow Tinny Panosian, which I'm hoping I'm saying her name right. I think I am. She's always used this and I was just like, damn, that is such, it's such a beautiful product, but it's, this is like a, I don't even know if you would consider this a primer. Like, I'm not even sure. But it's basically something, I think you can wear it alone, but it's something you put under foundation for an extra glow. It's like a filter. It's called the Flawless Filter. So I tried this on my hand in store. I have the shade, um, I think it's two, two fair. And it just looked incredible. I didn't put it on my face yet. It just looked incredible on my hand. So I don't even know if you could see that. But it just added some glow, it added some blurring, and I, like, after the swatch, I was like, get that on my face. So I'm very excited. I see Michaela, I don't know her last name, and I always feel so bad. <laughs> Michaela on TikTok, she always talks about this, and so I am so excited to try it. And I love that they have, like, the mini size. This was $15, just, you know, if it's a new product to you, to get to know if you like it or not. And for travel and all that, so incredible. Can't wait. And then the last thing I bought is kind of a repurchase, but I got a different flavor. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in peach. So I had the vanilla before, um, which I love the all yellow packaging. Uh, but I, I ran out and I'm really missing it. So here, let's try it. Oh, that smells good. Oh yeah. Oh, it feels so good. You guys know I love the Laneige um, sleeping mask. The lip glowy balms are awesome too. And there's so many different scents. There's like vanilla, grapefruit. I'm a fan. That's That tastes great. So I just picked that up. This is something I keep in like my everyday makeup. I just slap this on. You guys know I don't really wear lip color. I just like a good balm. I just need some hydration and I loved this and I was missing it so I bought it again. So okay guys that is it. That is everything I purchased. Ooh I got some samples which I don't really want them. Ooh they gave me a Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Conditioner. That's good for traveling. I'll keep that one. We have a couple out of town weddings this year. They're honestly stressing me out, but it'll be fine. And um, so, okay, I'll bring that to one of those. Anywho, as if I'm gonna wash my hair on vacation though, let's be real. But anyways, <laughs> that is it. I will have all of the stuff linked down below if you wanna check any of it out. I'm going to film my B-roll. And you guys, every time I look over there at that strawberry blush, I am gutted that I didn't get a proper picture before I ruined it. <laughs> but yes, I will have everything linked down below if you wanna check it out. And I will keep you guys updated. Um, I'm excited to use all this. I'm gonna throw it all in my, I have just, I have just like this everyday makeup bin that I'm using right right now. It's all going in there so I can try it out the next time I do my makeup. And um, yeah, I'm going to try to do a spring morning routine coming up. So I'm sure you'll see a lot of it in that as I try things out. And then of course, the things I'm loving you'll see in the March favorites. I also do have planned because I have plenty of products to do. Not plenty, but enough products to do a products I don't like video. So hopefully none of these end up in there, but they might. So stay tuned. I will have my face on one side if you wanna click and subscribe and then some videos that I think you might enjoy if you would like to click and watch those. Please subscribe and thumbs up this video. It really helps out my channel. And yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you wanna check out Karma, I will have the link down below. You can click and check it out. Sign up, it's completely free. Let me know if you guys do. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Why am I holding my finger? like this. Who knows? Okay. Love you. Bye. <laughs>